Hello Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This reading is for Sun, Moon and Rising Sign Aquarius. And if you do have any personal questions that you would like answered, then you can visit my website katietarot.com and book your personal reading with me there. So Aquarius, let's see what's coming up ahead for you this week. This reading is general in nature, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave what doesn't. Aquarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. Aquarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. Two of Swords. Four of Swords. Four of Swords is crossing you Aquarius this week. We have the Page of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Three of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Okay. Well, Aquarius, you're looking at moving forward into some new energy here. Some new friendships, some new acquaintances, some new business opportunities. But there does seem to be indecisiveness. Now, there is a strong sense that you have to believe in yourself this week. Also put in the effort as well. If effort needs to be put in, then make sure that's what's happening here because that's what the Seven of Pentacles is saying. That your desires, your hopes, your wishes can come to fruition if you put in some effort that's required. And there will be that effort needed. But you are going to have that fruitfulness come in. There just seems to be some kind of decision or stalemate here in your life this week that can make the ending or make this culmination of energies just a bit trickier with the Ten of Wands. So you're almost there. You're almost at the end. You're almost seeing the light at the end of the tunnel here. It could be something small in your life or something larger. So you're almost there. It's almost like with the three of swords up here in your mental sphere, Aquarius, that some sort of anguish, pain, disappointment, loss, you're thinking about that and that's why you're unable to make this decision or you're unable to move forward. Your head and your heart are on two different wavelengths here this week. Now you can change this. I can see that here. You can change it. There is a conflict here with the Two of Swords. Conflict within yourself, perhaps conflict with another in some way, it may be verbal, communication, not getting through, that sort of thing. And I get a sense that if this is to do with a person, okay, and you're not able to get through to them, they're just not hearing what you have to say, they're just hearing what they want to hear. It's just time to let things rest. Because it seems like you don't really want to do that because the Four of Swords is crossing you. Don't really want to do that because you feel like you need to push forward. But a calm mind is essential here for making this right decision or this right choice or getting your heart and your mind in the same place. So it's very important that you have that time, that mental clarity, that calmness of mind and not go head to head with this person and perhaps not this week, you know. This re week doesn't feel like it's about resolution for you. It seems like it's about recognition, recognition about how you are thinking about this recognizing that you're wanting haste 
to complete this, to finalize this, to get this moving, to get the obstacles out of the way, to watch something grow, to come to fruition. And yes, I see ultimately that's going to occur. For some of you, it may occur this week. But for others, you know, not so much here. You know, it's going to take a bit of time and it's not this week that it's going to happen. But you need to take some time out and really think about things and not go head to head with someone or jump into a scenario that you're uncomfortable with. Because this rush can, and, and the fallout from that, if you're too hasty, can make you feel like, or can make you think like this three of swords energy. So you have that loss, you have that disappointment. So just restrain yourself, hold back a bit. Because you need to get this head and this heart in the right space. Now, with the Page of Pentacles down here in your feelings, your thoughts about this, are really saying that, okay, you really want a new start here. You want something new. You want to hear news, perhaps, because we've got the page, so it could be messages and that sort of thing, hearing news about finances, about, a, about work, about a person. Or you're wanting to convey something to them. And this can also indicate you learning. You know, you could be a student. You could be learning something on the job. You know, your, your feelings are about learning in some way. You're feeling this out. You're feeling what this is all about. And I feel that's where that conflict is coming in here between the mind and the heart. Yeah, I can see you've been waiting for something to happen here with the Seven of Pentacles. Take some time out this week. Don't make any decisions. Might not be the right time for it. And this struggle burden here with the Ten of Wands, it's going to resolve itself. You're going to have that completion or that decision made or things moving forward. It is going to happen. Just take your time with it. And get a clear mind about it. So I hope you all have a great week ahead and I'll talk to you all again soon.